let us consider to stimulate one another to love and good deeds. Not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some. Encouraging one another. Here is the problem with most of us. We want God, God's comfort, but we neglect His people. How many of you are really part of a small group? That's not a program. That is an instruction of the living God in order for us to help one another, encourage one another. You need a church. You need people who will help you to grow in your relationship with the Lord, who will weep with you, who will rejoice with you. Those are gifts from God. I remember I was watching yesterday Agenda and the guy was depressed and said, I was so depressed until a friend came to me and slapped me on my face and said, you have no right to be depressed. Come with me. So he brought him to a place where he can jog and he would pick him up every day until he developed a new routine. So, and he was delivered from depression. You know why? Because he has a friend willing to slap him on his face. We need brothers and sisters who would rebuke us to our face and tell us what's wrong with us. That we may change, that we may experience the comfort of the living God. We need each other. If you are not part of the body, can you imagine? This hand will not survive with, if he is away from the whole body. He must be connected. We need each other. Yes, Jesus is enough. If Jesus is enough, then we need the church because the church is the body of Jesus Christ. We need each other. We need to listen to one another. To so many of us, we're so proud that we are not willing to listen to the rebukes of other brethren. If they're wrong, it's okay. We can improve. If they're right, wow, at least there is someone who really cares for us, willing to check and help us to become better. That's how the church works.